Trying to find the right solution for a typical boardroom can be a bit confusing when there are so many options. For this session, we're going to take a look at an all-in-one solution. This means that pretty much everything you need is in a single unit. In the case of this room, the control system, the video switching and transport, the amplifier and the DSP functions are all built into a single system. The only thing we need in addition to this is video conferencing. There's a lot of benefits to be had from using an all-in-one presentation solution like the DVX3266 that we're using in this example. One of the key benefits is having less equipment means less cabling, less complicated integration and far less points of failure. Designing a room like this is a simple matter of deciding how many sources and how many displays you're using, what you need to control and how the room's going to be used because the user's workflow needs to be central to the system design. We don't need to worry about lots of add-on technology to make the room work because everything's built in. And with all the features and functions that the DVX solution has, we can use the same hardware in every design. Even the room code can be unified between the different room types, which makes it much easier to support. When you take all of this into account, you can drastically lower the overall cost of the project. Now, one of the things you might notice about this boardroom is that there's no equipment on show. A well-designed boardroom should be the showpiece of the organization where the most important meetings take place. So why would you want to ruin it with an equipment rack? Even though the DVX system is designed to take care of the functions within the room, it doesn't actually need to be in the room. You can install the majority of the hardware in a comms rack nearby and then transfer the video and the audio to and from the room using DXLink, which only uses a single cable, so the wiring really couldn't be easier. This means the only hardware devices in the boardroom are the DXLink transmitters and receivers, and of course they're installed out of sight. There are two models in the DVX range, the DVX2265, which is a six input, two output system, and the DVX3266, which has eight video inputs and four video outputs. All the other specifications are the same, so it's a very simple choice of how many inputs and outputs you need. The DVX3266 has four DXLink inputs and two DXLink outputs, so it's perfect for a room like this. The VC equipment can be installed in the comms rack along with any other permanent sources, like a room PC, for example. And because the DXLink connections also carry USB, the keyboard and mouse can be connected to one of the transmitters under the table. This table has a number of laptop input positions so that our staff can present from anywhere in the room. Now, if I wanted to reduce the number of connections to the DVX in the comms rack or to increase the number of input ports I have at the table, I could use a switcher from our VPX range to pre-switch the sources at the table before sending them to the comms rack over DXLink. Although we've installed as much hardware as possible in the comms room, there's often a requirement for control ports within the room itself. Now, all the transmitters and receivers have control ports, but in the case of this room, I need some relays because we have privacy blinds that need to be lowered during confidential meetings. To get over this problem, we're using one of our port expansion units, in this case, an EXB REL8. This is a relay unit which sits on the network and gets installed somewhere close to the devices that are being controlled. This is much easier than running cables back to the comms room, and it means we can install control ports wherever they're needed. Commissioning this system has been made as simple as possible using the DVX's onboard HTML5 web interface. This is the perfect commissioning and test tool for this type of all-in-one solution. In fact, the same web interface format is also used on our DGX and Insight products, which makes it even easier. Back to the equipment in the room itself, we're using the latest 4K displays, so it makes sense to install a solution that's capable of switching full 4K resolutions and HDR, so we don't have to compromise on the video quality. It's also worth noting that if these displays had HD base T connections, I'd be able to connect directly to them without using DXLink receivers. Now let's talk about audio for a moment. The DVX has multiple microphone inputs as well as line level in and out, but there's also support for eight channels of Dante audio, which means that we can integrate seamlessly with any Dante or AES67 audio system. The amplifier we have on board is a Crown Dry Core amplifier capable of delivering 120 watts per channel, so there's more than enough audio power for this room, and even larger rooms than this one. Using the powerful onboard DSP, I can make sure that the audio quality is second to none. 
I can even create different audio groups to make sure I get the right mix to the right output. All of this is completely transparent to the user, of course. They don't need to see any of the equipment other than the touch panel, so the user interface design is probably the most important aspect of any room design. To get this right, it's important to have a good understanding of what's required from the room and then provide the simplest and most automated solution. In this case, we're using a Madeiro touch panel with a design that focuses heavily on video conferencing. We tried to make this as easy as possible to the user because the days of presenting just to a local audience are now long gone. Web conferencing and remote meetings are now the standard in any organization, so the room design and the user interface need to be ready for this. If you'd like to know any more about the solutions we've looked at today, go to www.amx.com or get in touch with a member of the application engineering team.